Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse, aka BGFH, and I am back for a very quick Geek Loot Spotlight video. Just a recording from my new little office desk location here. But, you know, when I moved in here, I just thought, you know, I need some kind of a cool lamp sort of a thing. You know, I've got overhead lighting, but I can turn that off and get rid of the glare. But I still wanted a little bit of ambient glow. So I thought, I don't want a regular desk lamp. I need something nerdy. So we have this box here. And we have, it is called the Magic Block. And I got this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check it out if you want to. There's a few variations of these. I just found this one for, it was, I think it was on sale or something, so I picked it up cheap. And it is a, you know, you can put it as a desk lamp or, a, you know, put it on your dresser or whatever. Just a small ambient lighting. And it is essentially, you look at the back here, it is basically a Tetris-esque lamp. So kind of a nightlight lamp sort of a deal. Got some pictures there, got some artwork showing you the box. Nothing too special, just very a very small, very compact little box here. Shove that off to the side. And here you go, there is the magic block light. So basically the way this works, you got your blue piece, your blue tetramino, your line block, the all important line block that's blue there. That is your powered block. You plug that into your wall. It's got a little AC plug on the back and a little power button that you sh uh, turn on and off and when it's on it glows. Then you have all these other shapes that you would have in a game of Tetris, your Tetraminos. You got your uh, T piece there on the left, you got your S, you got your Z's, you got a couple uh, L blocks, and you can rearrange, the cool thing is you can rearrange these however you want. Now you notice some of these aren't lit up and that'll give me, a, that'll be my one beef with this product. I'll explain in a sec. But I can take these off. Tilt right. Level. And I can put them in any formation that I want to. So, you know, they just you have the powered blue block on the on the bottom there. And then you just put these in however you want to. Like I could put, let me see if I can see this one, that one is glowing. But if I put it up here. Yeah, boom, it glows. So my main complaint that I, I really, I love this little product. I love this kind of an idea for a light. People have been stopping in to check out the office off and on all morning. And I've gotten like two or three different compliments like, oh, I love that light, that's so cool. My main problem with it is that these pieces all they're, I wish they were either magnetic or I wish they clicked together, Tilt like left. snapped together. Level. Because they move so Level. easily. If you nudge them ever so slightly, it's a matter of you have light, you don't have light. And both of those silver, on both sides here, you see they got the silver trails, uh, the rails on either side there that's where it makes contact and that's what's going to light up your block but like i said they move so easily off of each other i take these two i can just slide them together like that and it's the problem is i just i can't you know you bump them or you nudge the table and it kind of jostles just enough to make one of those lights come out like i said getting this i have a lot of trouble with this t block over here to left come on Let's get you, oh, okay, see, and, it, and that one didn't work because the block below it was not properly aligned onto the to left. line. Level. So it's a really, really cool idea. I love the fact that I can change the orientation of these blocks to left. at Level. any time, and I can just make a pattern and give myself some ambient lighting if I turn the lights off in my office. I'm going to try to put these back together and then I'll turn the lights off so you can see. Be very, very careful. There we go. Let me 
crank the lights off. Now, check that out. That's pretty cool. So I can sit there with my computer over here, got my fridge over there, got my little surface over there, and got my nice little uh, small but cool little office here. But yeah, I can just sit in the dark. I can be a true nerd, sit in my, uh, sit in my little cave back here, work on my reports and work on machines and uh, still have a little bit of cool ambient lighting rearrange make some patterns on uh, make some patterns with these blocks Tilt left i just wish level that they stayed together easier because like i said you really can't nudge the table or desk or whatever you're using at all because it is so easy for those things to get off of those little tracks i wish they had a little bit of magnetic stick to them or they had some sort of like hook Thing. I think magnetics magnets would be better, uh, especially you could probably have those along those silver, um, those silver rails. But I don't know if that would interfere with the conduction, you know, for powering the little block lights. And from what I understand, if you really like these, like you can actually buy multiple sets of these, and then you could basically make a bigger model. So like you could actually piece multiple sets of these together and make an even bigger pattern. But yeah, so I just threw these together in some kind of weird abstract Tetris-esque pattern. And like I said, I've already gotten a couple of uh, comments uh, through, through people coming in and going, oh, that's really cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, you know, you want to spice up your work area. Maybe you want to put something by your gaming desk or have a nightlight somewhere. This is, you know, it's 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 definitely not going to light up a room. It's more ambient lighting, more of a nightlight-esque sort of a thing. But that's kind of the way, you know, that's kind of what I wanted. And I think it looks pretty cool. Each of the blocks are different colors. You can configure them in different ways. Aside from the very sensitive, Tilt left. you know, level, you, the really sensitivity of moving them, flickering on and off that's the only problem i really have with these but otherwise they're pretty cool so that is the magic block light i will leave the description below um i think regular price is like 25 28 bucks or something like that i got it on sale but um you can i'll leave the amazon link in the description below if you want to grab one of these for yourself but anyway hope you guys enjoyed another little geek loot video Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, Mixer.com slash BGFH, IllegallyCited.com, and of course, YouTube.com slash IllegallyCited. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I will chat with you guys in the next video. Later. Stop recording video.